All right, welcome back to round one, part two of the Y Open at Romero Disc Golf Course. I'm Josiah Griffin, joined by my boy Maverick Robertson. What's poppin'? <laughs> and uh, just kidding. We're gonna jump right back into this. We got Mr. Joe Revere, Colorado legend, sitting um, at three down, looking to get some more birdies for sure. But this guy was this guy was top ten at the in the world, I think, at one point. Yes, still. Still up there, mm -hmm. full time teacher, and an amazing disc golfer, and an even better person. So awesome to play with him. Coda, the local killer, he's one of the best up here in Wyoming, I think. He's got to be top three, oh, yeah. at least. No doubt. And he's really good at these courses. These are his home courses both Dry Creek, Romero, Little America. Got yourself here, sitting at four down through nine holes. Pretty good. I think we're all pretty close right now, but. We're not we're not exactly stoked. Yeah, but it's uh we're doing what we should be doing, but it could be a little bit better. You're at 3, you're right there in the mix. There's not too much separation on the card right now. I think we got other cards absolutely killing it though. Um out there. Was it? Yeah. I think, I think Jacob, Jacob and Tyler Trefferson. Yeah, they were both playing pretty good. We'll see some scores. Yeah. But uh on to hole 10. This hole is actually kind of tough it's it's mm -hmm. you kind of shoot over these reeds and it's downhill you think you want to throw a potter on it yeah um, it's especially so with downhill. no wind yeah it's it's one of those tweener holes i think you're probably going is that a, Ooh, is that a dd3 that's prototype dd3 all right so yeah. he's going max distance I got driver that, i got that gucci italian plastic you know i'm just trying to throw it out there i can't throw them that well so Finish a little bit right actually yeah. surprisingly yeah that disc that is so stable, stable. It's kind of like my PD2 now at this point. Coda going justice. That's justice, yep. That's, uh, I think this is a good play, especially when you don't have wind. Oh, wow. Oh, That's a perfect. great shot. That's exactly how you should play this. We play. went like 10 speeds different right there. Like Joe is even going with a fairway here. I think it's a Firebird. No. It looks like... It's either oh, a Max or stable. a Firebird. It might be a Max. Whatever that is, it's stable. And, and it's, it's parked. It's pretty perfect. Yeah. He gets a little bit of a bounce, but I don't think he'll have a problem there. You could just throw whatever you'd like as far, hang it out as far as you want. I always, going think, harp. I always think that I can get a harp there. And it seems to always come up short. And yeah. And that's the one thing you don't <laughs> want to do on this, on this hole is go into that stuff. Because it is nasty in there. Well, it took us a while to find it. Oh, there he is. There. <laughs> it's, uh, I literally had to throw a turbo punch. Is that a turbo? It looked air. like it. Yeah. It's, uh, just, just coming out. Of, I couldn't even see you in there. You got yourself a nice little tester. 30, 35 wow. footer. Really just, nice pot. Just there. putting good this round, honestly. Oh, you're stoked. You're yeah. stoked. <laughs> I'm fired up. He's I'm fired up. I'm smacking putts. Man, does Joe get big putted here, by No, me? I can never big putt that man. No way. He's a beast. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> he tried. Yeah. See, he knows that I got a point on him right now, so that he's trying his hardest to knock him out of there. That nose down is like 45 degrees nose down when it hits the basket. It just explodes upwards. So I'm not stoked about that. It's uh, This is a musket hole. I mean, the par is cool, <laughs> but you like fighting through all them branches and stuff, that'd be bumming me out. My allergies, you know? Oh, oh for sure. <laughs> yeah. Especially with no Great wind birdies. out here, you also have the mosquitoes, and mm -hmm. and it's it's not ideal. We go we come to Wyoming to play in the wind. Yes. It's not windy. Yes. Well, you got some good twos on the card. Yeah, we pulled away from you a little bit right there, but I left out the starbird there. Mm -hmm. That's on me. All right, the bomber. This is the big hole on the course. This is definitely one of the hardest holes out mm -hmm. here. You have to throw a big shot uphill. And then you have OB right behind the basket, too, that winds up. It's about as uphill as hole 8 was. I think it plays a little more it's than... It's like 450. Yeah. Yeah. It plays like 450. So I'm heaving this a... as hard as I can. I know I don't quite have the arm for it, but I'm going to give it a good my best shot. shot. though. That's all I got. Almost to pin high. Wow. All right. You're, a little, you're up there. And we're going to see how much Coda's distance has improved this year. Because he throws this, like... Looks smooth. Oh, it's a great looking it shot. It just looks nice and smooth, not too hard, and he just boosts. I wonder what that is. I feel like it's an enigma that he's throwing. It's either Maybe a DD3, DD3 or enigma. I think it might be enigma. Joe, I think, probably going destroyer here. Yeah, Halo destroyer. Halo destroyer. Oh, yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't like those drives today. He's kind of coming up a little bit. Is that a race or a destroyer? Destroyer. Okay. That's pretty good. It landed in a nice open spot. He'll have like 35, 40 feet. Yeah, that's just fine. Give yourself a look. I really don't expect anything. My, 
My throws were not coming your out distance, well today. Your distance <laughs> was pretty weak today. Oh, man. That's so short. It's, it's so It's <laughs> just an easy par from there. Yeah, easy three. <laughs> that's Maybe a little of... bid, though. It's, it's uphill. You could run it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll work. <laughs> kind of rely on that putter upshot game. You look like you got a putt straight over this tree. You know, I was I was made for this putt. Nose down, floaty, little eh, up and over. Oh, that looked good. Yeah, that's all right. That almost brought me back to Discers for Whiskers last year. Yeah. You land and you roll away. You didn't even know what happened. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this hole's got. Coda's looking to times. make this. That's that's a good looking drop. Oh, oh man, that would be putt. another stroke on the field almost. I say there's like four holes that feel maybe four or five that feel really good to get out here. They're pretty oh, good Joe. distances. That's not that's not what he's looking for. I've seen Joe make that step putt just thousands of times, and I was surprised he hasn't hit one already. But he still just got doesn't time. seem like he was really feeling it to start start out this tournament. Yeah, but I can guarantee you that Joe is gonna do Joe things soon. Yeah, this is a three round <laughs> tournament. Got plenty he, of he can pop off anytime he really wants to. Just taking the some easy pars over here. This hole is uh if you birdied this, that's definitely like another one of those mm -hmm. stroke on the field kind of holes out here. So there's not very many of them, but if you get them, that's huge. No birdies there. Everyone's taking a par. You guys, you and Coda still sitting at five down. Mm -hmm. Joe at four and myself at three. Very anticlimactic so far. <laughs> yeah, that was a standard freaking hole right there. This is another one that you really got to get. It's uh, some people play like the stable fairway to stable mid range. It's it could be a sidearm. It could be a backhand. It's wide open. There's no trees. There is an OB line behind the basket that should never really be in play. Oh no! Shush. I think I remember this. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this hole is my nemesis. Ladies Wham! Grip gentlemen. lock. <laughs> the worst shot you could ever do. So OB. I mean, I don't think you could throw it anywhere. You worse. couldn't throw it anywhere. That was I was like, terrible. do a nice straight <laughs> mid right at the basket. Just so bad. Coda going with a splice, it looks like. No, that's an origin. That's a splice. Is it? Yeah. Oh. For sure. And he just digs in right there. That's, oh, you're that's, right. That's yeah, a, he has a lot stuff. of primal stuff he's throwing. A lot of orange. And that was pretty ideal. That's right where you want to land, maybe a little bit left. Joe goes thumber. And I like throwing thumbers, oh. especially for no reason, when it's just a wide open hole. Oh. And to see Joe do this. <laughs> Joe has such a sweet thumber. <laughs> oh dude. man. He's he's not he doesn't really he's pretty humble about it, but I'm it's just, it's I want to be good. like Papa Joe, you know. <laughs> I try to play the mid range shot, come up short and, and left. You need to punch yeah. it up that hill. I think I think your shot kinda of scared me a little bit. Oh my shot was terrible. <laughs> That's a cool view. I would like for you to save this. I'm going to try. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. He turns it into a tester there. Yeah. Not really. It doesn't <laughs> even look that far. It's like 20 feet. Oh, ah, that's all right. It didn't roll too much. You know me, man. Dead center cage all the time. Yeah, you are the king of the cage. This is for your bogey. Yeah, that's all day. Oh. Oh, <laughs> boy. If you, <laughs> to get a five on this course, to catch a five on this course is just that's, so bad. <laughs> that's just sad. That's a great two from Coda. I'm truly, truly depressed right now. Oh, I don't yeah. know what just happened. Look at Why? you. <laughs> Look at you. I don't even know what happened. Joe and Coda. I think last time twos. we played this course, I took like a four, like, on this hole. I, it's so easy. You and me both. <laughs> Even Joe, Joe. You're not even stoked. like, you're embarrassed for me. I appreciate that. <laughs> Go grab my disc. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So that's a tough hole, especially for you. Sick five. It's a hole you need to birdie, and you just double bogeyed it. So yeah, so I fall. <laughs> I fall quite a ways. Come right back to me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I just like to be tied with you all the time, you know? Don't want to go too far. We're but looking to change Coda this pulls right in now. the lead by yeah. a good amount. He's Coda's a six. playing pretty stellar golf right now. Yes, he is. Minus a couple... Easy missed yeah, putts. Yeah, he's has like two pretty short missed putts, and otherwise it'd be just like a fire round. He's popping off, but oh, it's still real sure. good. Hole 13, just a little a little sneeze down the hill right here. You can almost putt it yes. down this hill. Koto goes tactic. Yep. <laughs> this that, hole's pretty simple. That was perfect. Joe is going... Oh, I'm not sure. That? Is, that a, is that a mid? You know that end of a stuff? I don't know. AVRX? Rhino. It's a rhino. It's a rhino? Yeah. 
If that he just goes dead on. straight to the right, see, that's where you can kind of get pinched off. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> wow. I throw it about halfway down you the know, hill. You know, for a 190-foot hole straight downhill, you don't want to leave it 50 I think short. that was about a about an 80-foot <laughs> drive off the tee. You're I go, going big old lid. I go effort. big lid. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Just float it on down there, you know? I think you hit. Did you Tank. hit the pole there? Yep, oh, hit the pole. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, let's oh, go. You get replay? the replay? <laughs> no way. This one's for Dale because that is his Zephyr that he gifted me. Oh, beautiful oh, shot. Yeah. He wants it. Bang. Oh, <laughs> the nice little bend of it. Yeah, that's that's nice. Right that's after a, a five, you know. <laughs> it's a max weight Zephyr too. Yeah, it's it's a heavy boy. And it was <sighs> Dale, uh, our Shy Ride filmographers here. Uh, that's his old Zephyr. He luckily he gifted that to me and it's been my baby ever since. I think that's the longest putt I've ever had on this hole. That's the longest putt <laughs> I've ever seen I've someone seen. have on this hole. Ah, <laughs> uh, Joe just not. He not caught some. There. It looks like he caught some grass on his on his putt right there. He's not playing like Joe does. No. And there it's very surprising to all of us mm -hmm. because I felt like I was playing terribly and I was still in the mix with him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he he's mad. not yeah. stoked. Tosses that bag. I'm gonna go ahead and say he takes this one down. Yeah. Oh, so hard, Joe. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. We love you. <laughs> nice birdie from yourself. Yeah, just trying to bounce back. I'm just going to tap it in. Uh, we have not been killing the dinker holes not, as a card, really. It's not looking good. You need to get these holes, especially that one. That's kind of like your saving grace when you miss those last few. Coda's trying to put some strokes in between him and the car. Coda's right looking now. good right now. Yeah. I think that was was that three in a row for him. It's got to be. He was putting in a row. he was putting together a string. Um, Next hole, hole fourteen. Pretty means... short little hole. It's kind of tricky though. It's a little more technical than some of the other holes. Like you have to hit a line, a very specific line on this hole. And this is uh, there's a couple different positions on this hole. This is just the the straight up one. There's one to the left of where the pin is now. That plays more of like a forehand. But this is just like a straight putter shot up the middle. Coda perfectly throwing really the shot. Really good shot. That's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. You look like you got a Sensei in the hand. Yeah, I was in between MD3 and Sensei, but after seeing Coda throw the link, it's definitely I was liking the, the shot. putter. That's looking good if it just holds that turn. And it oh, does. it holds it. That looks great. Oh, yeah. That's money. And I've been... I got wrecked on this hole last time I played it, so I was happy to hit the line correctly this time. I feel like Joe going Rhino again. The same Rhino? Mm hmm. Maybe a little flex. Oh, wait, those are pretty flat. She's stable. Skip. That's just fine. Part. Perfect shot. They're making this hole look easy, you but. You guys are dissecting this yeah, one. Yeah, it gets in my grill a little bit. I'm going with the uh, Gold Line Pier. Definitely my favorite disc this year. Oh, just yanked it. And I just yanked it. Oh, no. There is. <laughs> Nothing. There's nothing doing from there. there. <laughs> you gotta I, have like a scooter <laughs> putt. There's there's absolutely nothing. I think I just pitch up this Annie and it goes into that bush. <laughs> He's bummed. You're bummed. <laughs> <laughs> Not stoked. Not stoked at all. That's a nice birdie from you. Just a well. The five's gone now. It's just like a part two times in a row. Yeah. A little turbs. Nice. <laughs> It was actually a little tougher than I wanted, just to just to get up and down. There's our boy Dale right there. Yeah, and shout Ryan. out, man. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to, to Dale and Ryan. They they've been killing it. And yeah. Joe just tried to do it again. I don't understand. He's doing his best to spit yeah. out, but he's just making them. So. Like my my thought process on those is dump it into the cage, but he's like, I'm gonna hit every chain on the way in. <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's a very dominant putter, and he wants it to go in. But part of me also thinks he doesn't want it to go in sometimes. Mm -hmm. Koda just pulling ahead nicely. Just yeah, he's cruising right playing now. Playing some great golf. Yeah. He's getting all these. All the ones you want to get. I'm kind of just here to watch now. Yeah. <laughs> Hole 15. This one's either a, like a flip-up backhand, kind of a straight shot. You want to shoot it under this branch that you're going to see here in a sec, or a little flex forehand if you have it like that. So you got a mando left of this first tree on the right. Yeah. So you oh, That's an origin that's, right there. That's the exact shot you want. Oh, he just clips that I tree. think that was hitting metal off the tee. Oh, yeah. Like, no, that that amazing. branch came out of nowhere to hit him. It's a beautiful shot. What are you going with here? I think this is an FD that I do not like. It's a little low. It's but it might skip. Gonna finish oh, a little it bit skips. Left. That's, a good, that's fine. 
It didn't look good, but it got some good ground play. Another thumber from Joe. This is going to be sweet. This man is after my heart, you know? Wham. Low line. I love that shot. Trying to get the skip in there. Boom. Oh, it's almost a cheater line <laughs> right there. That's so good. Why have I never thought of doing that? You guys are just taking the, ripping these holes apart. All I want to do is get close, man. Oh, just uh. hold it. Just <laughs> yank that core. And that's just not what we're looking for. Let's see if Coda can make something happen. He honestly got robbed on that tee shot. It was so good. This would be such a sweet putt. Uh, He's just kind of pitching up. Gives it a little bit of a bid, but... He was playing so good, and he just kind of got screwed over. Look, is that branch right up on the top right of the screen? That's what he hit. It's just such a small branch to hit. Get some. Oh, good try. You're just, trying to get something going. I cannot find it. I remember just being so bummed this whole round. Yeah, the back nine. It's, you were pretty bummed. See, it's a, it's the first round. That's a nice birdie. All right, here we go. We're rolling now. I got three in a row. It's the first round, but you really don't want to let these guys pull ahead of you because it's it's so hard to fight back. Mm -hmm. But Joe looking to take his easy birdie oh, there. Yeah. That was a nice putt. That's a good birdie. I like Joe's putt a lot. It's a little scary, but he's so confident in it, mm -hmm. and it's it's inspiring for real. Uh, just uh, looking to keep this bogey-free three down going, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's how many pars you have? You got, what, 12, 11 pars already? I'm pretty... I don't think I bogey at all this whole this whole entire round. Nice. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't think so. <laughs> A bogey-free three down right now, you know? Yeah. That'd be great at some courses. <laughs> Not this one. Not this one. Yeah. So we're kind of pulling away from JoJo a little bit, but Coda's still in the lead at eight. Joe, seven. Joe's myself, making six. some moves now. Yeah, Joe's trying to put it together here at the end, and he can finish strong. This is definitely a guy you would expect to be, you know, 14 down right now. But <laughs> yeah. That's what these little short courses can do to you. You mm -hmm. know, you can you can kind of slow up and, and miss a lot of these easier holes. Hole 16, this is one of the better holes on the course. Like it's just a, it's a big hyzer, but you got to finish in between those trees down there. Or actually, it's the right position, so. I just, just throw this that. into the dirt. <laughs> I don't know if it slipped out. I don't know what happened. I really liked the line. If it was like three feet higher, it would have been good. But I threw it into the hillside, maybe 130 feet off the tee. That's looking like maybe a PD, I think. See, there's PD or that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that great. is what you want to do. trickled over there. He just makes this whole He hung so that easy. out so far. The aiming point for the hyzer is kind of that, that sign out on the right. I'm going to see Coda throw right at it. Yeah, right over the top of it right there. That's a pretty good shot as long as it gets the distance. It's a little high. Oh, crashes pretty, through. Part. Yeah, oh, oh wow. Money. Oh, wow. It that, rolled up nice. That die looks so cool, too. Yeah, he has a lot of cool dies on his disc. I'm looking to play the exact same kind of line. Are you going more the hyzer, hyzer line? Yeah. I think oh, I, yeah, I turned it over too much. It just kind of went straight. Oh, that looks good. Get yeah, you want to get past that. Oh, uh, so, try to sneak by. It's definitely a little guarded down there. You are way back. I have <laughs> a whole upshot on this hole. Make this hole looking hard, baby. Yeah. Just pitch it That's up there. Just up. get out of there. That was such a bad drive off the tee. All right, take a three. Let's see if you can make something this is here. something that I, I really wanted to make here. Yeah. This is kind of my, my favorite kind of putt and... Just, just not feeling it. it. It's just not there. Not. Oh, you're not, still out. Not excited on this round. <laughs> oh my. All Bogey right, free, baby. Keep it Bo going. Keep huh? going. Bogey free. Let's go. <laughs> oh, so oh. angry. <laughs> I wasn't actually that mad. Just a little bit sad. He was a little. It was a little salty boy out there for a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. That's all right. We, you know, you got next round, and we could play well at Dry Creek. You're definitely not out of it, but. Not the start of the tournament that you were looking for. No, definitely not. Joe with a great birdie. I like getting that hole. It's just a big old hyzer. Coda but... too, man. That's yeah, just Coda a... just pimped it. That's a beautiful park job mm -hmm. for this hole. And he just keeps this awesome Is round he at going. nine? He's at nine He's down at now? Nine. He's cruising. Oh, yeah. Well, and Joe kind of started to pick it up, but Coda's just been playing consistent. And, you know, we can still go back to those few holes that yeah. he just... Missed a couple putts. This guy could be at 12 down right now. This is just this course. You're like, I expect to get half of these holes oh, yeah. at least. 
Moving on to hole 17. So this oh. hole, this hole used to play. It's it's a uh, been controversial because the island, yeah, is not exactly defined. It wasn't PDGA approved. Like they went and approached the PDGA to talk about this island. You could see some flags out here that they were gonna play it, but, but the PDGA did not approve it. So we're playing no island. So it's just land wherever you want. And for me, pretty exciting because I suck at this hole. And I throw the same shot every time, never make the island. Typically, it's the rock wall to find out there. But today, no island at all. But two for two have made yeah, the non-existent they, they island just made thus it. far. And, you know, we were talking about it when you were coming up. I was like, yeah, you're probably going to park it because it's not an island. I know. I'm like, oh, don't have to worry about anything. Just throw my same shot that. that I always do. Oh, it's in the island. Oh, perfect. Oh, there it <laughs> oh. is. Yep. Easy as that. <laughs> See, all you needed is if for not to, to I not know. be an island. I don't know if it's a mental thing. I don't know what the deal is. I think this is a, a little bit of an anger shot out of me. I just crushed this putter. Oh, dang. Oh, uh, dang. You did juice that. <laughs> the only one not in the island, but yeah. I'm still safe. You're so. still putting for two. And and another just, that another lazy bid. That's a tester coming back. Really scaring myself out of this 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 bogey free three down round. <laughs> Great putt from Joe. Sticks that one in there. He's he's finally starting to tear it up yeah, now. He's catching a groove right now. But Coda is not gonna let him have this stroke. No way. It's a man. Beautiful too. A man of focus. And that's right to there. hit double digits. Yes. And that's a that's just what you want. Very solid round right now. That's a great comebacker. <laughs> You're keeping bogey free alive right now. Not not the best round, but you know it's a uh, it's always been a goal of mine at least this year is to to try and just not take bogeys and it's a uh, it's a nice goal to reach but if you can't birdie then it's really kind of pointless. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hole eighteen. This is uh one of my favorite holes on the course for sure. It's a uh, you got a few different a few different lines on it. Um, you can throw a big hyzer around this pole that's in the middle of the fairway. The, the pole that is it is perfect, perfectly placed out there. Like that is, well, if it were a wide open hole, you'd be throwing right where the pole is. But and we're gonna see Joe go on a bummer. forehand. Oh no, bummer! Yeah, wham. <laughs> Love the play. Honestly, it inspired me. So and that's a great play there. Oh wow! It's Look at that roll. Long though, that roll was terrible. <laughs> Coda with the origin. He's going Annie. He's going with the turnover shot. Nice. Which is so good. Oh, it, it didn't turn it quite didn't as much turn, as he wanted. Yeah. And that's the thing is, there's no wind mm. out there to even try to help it. You're going thumber as well. Well, Joe did it. Why can't I do it? <laughs> he was throwing. Joe he was throwing more thumbers breed. than me. I know. <laughs> Almost hit the pole. Don't hit the pole. Oh, that's that's a solid shot right there. That's fine. A little bit of a low ceiling. So I'm taking the same line as Coda, except I'm going over stable and a lot more turn. Oh, a little flex play. And this is my favorite play on this hole. Oh, you're right by me. I didn't think it was good. When we get up no, there, it's parked. And it, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if Coda can cap off a, a real good around with a big old putt. And that's a scary putt. Oh. And that's honestly just fine. That's fine. I think he'll be happy with this with this round. Yeah. 10 down. He played it really well. Joe wants to make this. And just the air ball? Ah, I really thought, like, of all the times he's had that stepper today, I was like, well, that's the one. That's all day. And that's a great, that's a great save, honestly. That's a sweet comebacker from yeah. Joe. It's a good par. He's not the happiest with that round, but he's still well in contention. And yourself just looking to... I'm trying to finish this. off. I got rocked by that five, and I, I rallied behind it, I think. Oh, yeah. That's a yeah. good finish. I mean, from that five, I had one par after that and pretty much all birdies, so I'll take it. A bogey and a double and shot eight down, so that's fine. <laughs> well, you beat me by a good amount. Yeah, and you didn't bogey at all. <laughs> I'm happy with that finish, but I'm not I'm not stoked on the round. Yay! It's, uh, oh, you got the four. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I think that puts me a ways off the lead still. Yes. And with it's this field... Good par from Coda. This field is so stacked... And you might you might see some of these scores here soon, but so we got Coda on our card at ten down, Joe at nine, myself at eight, JoJo at four down. So our next round is going to be at Dry Creek. We're going to see the scores for everybody. It looks like Jacob Rowley in the lead, twelve down, which is hot. Metzler, another Colorado guy, eleven. Coda at ten, and Mac Lugo, two Wyoming guys, tied at ten down. 
And that's going to be your lead card. And that's going to be the lead card for Dry Creek on the And next as round. I said, four down, almost last. Almost place last. Right there. Yeah. You need to score on this course. A very competitive field out there, so you got to play good. We got plenty of golf left, and we will see you all in round two at Dry Creek. Thanks for watching.